My vision for the center reflects the board of directors of the Lowndes Valdosta Arts Commission, which we fall under their leadership for the center. It's to provide the education and cultural enrichment and entertainment for our region, uh, just and celebrating the arts and promoting local artists and doing it in, within these gallery uh, walls as well as throughout the community. We're so fortunate to have this wonderful building that has six galleries in it. They rotate every six weeks with a lot of different artists, sometimes you know, set six at a time. Uh, we're, right now we're looking at the work of Ron Zachari and it is the only time that we have housed one artist or featured one artist in all of our galleries at the same time. So this is a rare occasion but it is certainly something that we can do in the future. I think that um, you know the challenges just provide opportunities and I would like the opportunity to reach more young people. I'd love to get more young people involved in the arts these days and um, just to expose them to all different kinds of arts. A lot of times people will come into the center and they think that you know art is just what's hanging on the wall. But we offer videography, photography, uh, guitar lessons, painting, so many different versions of um, art and um, everything that we do uh, can really be considered art and here at the center we want to bring more people through the doors and have them experience what art is and how it can benefit their lives. I'd like to um, bring more awareness to the fact that we're not just this building at 527, although this is a fantastic building that houses these six galleries of different kinds of art throughout the year, but we also have a pottery studio across the street and we just broke um, ribbon on the new annex across the street also at 601 North Patterson Street which will be our youth education building. So we are outgrowing a lot of space that we have in this original building and going across the street and actually utilizing our property a little bit better. So in the next two years I'd like to see us utilize the green space across the street. We've got this beautiful green canopy space that's not been really used much over the last um, 15 years that we've been in this location. I'd like to see us do more outdoor festivals and concerts and uh, really promote more of the music and other art education or entertainment in this area. The Turner Center looks for not just local artists but regional artists and we've had national and international artists as well. So it's it, we're not limited. We really do promote and celebrate um, our artists and, and even those that are outside of our area. But we see ourselves as a regional art center. So we offer a product that and a service that extends beyond our city and county walls. Most people don't realize that this facility is more than just what they see from the outside. I'd love for people to come through and get, in, get to know more about what this uh, facilities here in this campus has to offer. Um, we have this particular facility that houses the galleries. It's great concerts happen here. There's a lot of classes that take place here. We've got the pottery studio across the street, a youth annex. We've got this great green space. There's a lot of things that are going on at the center. Um, if people have any ideas for other classes, we're always very open to other ideas that people have. Come and see what the Art Center has for you and, and, and really be surprised that it's more than just what you see on the walls, although that is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life is what we house here in the galleries. But it also is um, that process that I was talking about and being able to be a part of that. And there really is something for everyone here.